Let me stop the music for a moment. Here's what I got going for him right now. My plans are he's gonna be uh, dual wielding, and he's he's gonna be folk, uh, he's gonna be dual wielding swords. Um, at least or up until the point where I start getting sword upgrades or sword upgrade nodes, it'll probably just whichever is a better weapon at the time. But for right now, the main focus is gonna be on swords. Uh, mainly for their accuracy bonuses. I'm less concerned about actually dealing damage as much as I am actually hitting. So, so I'm going to start here. The ignore all movement penalties from armor is kind of a nice bonus. Because um, I think any kind of shield and any kind of body armor uh, slows you down. I think it's like minus three percent for uh, shields and like minus five or minus eight or something like that for the body armor. But but anyway, then and then I believe I didn't didn't go that way. I think I just went up. I, I'm just going to go ahead and just grab those. Just because. And going down here. Oh. I know what I was going to do. Not going to grab those. Instead, I'm going to go over here. And just grab this for the empty jewel socket. Because I know I have one in my stash and I might be, might be getting more later. So, and going down here. And then just swoop it up on all these. And then going over here. And I am choosing iron reflexes. Um, I find evasion to probably be the worst kind of defense to have. It, it causes you to take very spiky damage. I learned that when playing my shadow. Like, you can go through strings where you don't take damage at all, and all of a sudden, you just take, like, the full brunt of it. So, at least with uh, armor, armor, I find, probably be the best defense. I mean, yeah, it's, it's flat damage reduction, but, yeah, you always take the damage, but on the upside, you always take the damage. There's no mystery about it. Um, I would rather take the damage reduction and just have it a... Uh, steady life loss rather than just having it just a spiky spiky life loss but moving right along grabbing that and this all oh i before i forget this also logistically this makes life a lot easier for me because what this means is uh i have more options i don't i'm not restricted to just um equipment that only gives armor and evasion i can now I can now grab all uh, evasion gear that's meant for the ranger too. So that, like I said, that increases my options. And then I'll go over here. Swoop up on all these. So 15% chance, 15 on bleeding. So that's 30% chance for bleeding right there. that no. oh something else I saw too um onslaught and towards the west part of the tree there's um there's a hub that it gives off fortify bonuses um if I'm trying to think 
if for some reason I'm able to consistently and constantly have Fortify up at nearly all times, then I'll break off from my current plan and uh, get those nodes too. Same thing here. If by um, if for some reason I enable, I'm able to have a uh, onslaught on nearly all the time, then I'm gonna go ahead and break off, break off my current plan and grab these two. So, uh, same with the jewel socket. If by some miracle another another unique jewel drops, something that I can actually use, then again I'm gonna break off my current plan and I'll. Grab these as well. But for those that don't know what I was talking about earlier, all your evasion rating gets converted to armor. So I would assume, I would assume that that constantly updates. So that would mean evasion rating here would just automatically get converted to armor. Instead of it being 8% increased evasion, it's 8% increased armor instead. That, I'm assuming that's how that works. But continuing on. I believe I went this way. Picking up more bleeds. And there's more. And grabbing that. And then going down here. more life leech that was a lesson I learned when playing my marauder uh, life leech and life regen are very valuable to me more valuable than life itself frenzy charges I guess if if there is a way that I could easily get them and keep them constantly, like having full three charges at all times, then I might break off and grab these two, but until then, not worth it. Um, I don't think there is any, uh, no. Darren's charge. Yeah, I'll probably skip that. This way, I think. Here it was. Actually, wrong way. Grab a ball of them, and then, um, and then grabbing crimson dance as well. And it can stack up to eight times. Um, since uh, I'm guessing uh, up until this point, I'll probably have a fair amount of attack speed. And um, because I forgot to mention earlier, but I think uh, Cleave is going to be my main attack. Um, and I think um, I think it's Lacerate is the other one. Um, it's kind of the same setup as my Marauder. Just checking to make sure everything's still working. But but my Marauder had kind of the same setup too. His uh, main ability is a uh, Ground Slam and um, Sunder. Ground Slam is the close range one, but bas basically my uh, main moves are going to be AoE moves. Yes, I'll be even using those on single target. Uh, probably wouldn't make much sense, but the thing of it is, is uh, on my Shadow, I made the mistake of doing this, but uh, his main ability was Viper Strike. But in order for to me Viper Strike to be really really viable, I had to put on a Ancestor's Call and Melee Splash just to make it more usable. Otherwise, because I mean, it sucks that you're stabbing one target when you're like surrounded by a whole bunch of them. So, so definitely learn from that one. And this one here strikes me as more of a party based. 
I'm a solo cell phone player, so this area here is useless. Um, considering my uh, main attack is uh, bleeding, which is based on solely on your physical damage, this is uh, another useless area here because I actually don't want to do elemental stuff. And then... Probably just go down here, grab that jewel socket too. No, 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 definitely don't want no knockback. And then I believe I went up here. Yep. And more bleeding there. I don't I think I went up here I can't remember extra armor extra armor uh, definitely a no-go on this so it looks like I'll probably just continue here Continue up here, and I'll just go ahead and grab all these. I figured at this point, I gotta have a 100% chance to cause bleeding at this point. Okay, let me move back down here. Oh, shoot. Um, I think I got these as well. This here is going to be pretty valuable too. Um, if I can get enough mana leech, then um, I'm main. There was a on my shadow. I think the name of the ability is a clarity, or the name of the gem, excuse me, is clarity. Um, if I can get enough mana leech, that means I won't have to have that reserve. I won't have to reserve my mana in order for the mana regen. I can just rely on this. if I grab that or not. Head back up here and see if there's something else I missed. That's a I'll start heading to ski on territory up in here. Okay, and it looks like I missed one. So, uh, oh, this is a crit chance. Okay. I'll go ahead and I'll just stop it here. But this is the general plan. Like I said, it's it's probably going to be subject to change. Um, there. But this is this is the scale. This is the basic skeleton scale model right here that I'm working on. Uh, dual wielding poison and bleeding. So. Yeah. 